Want to know the difference between male and female golden retrievers? Many people will tell you that they're the same, but that's actually not true. There are several differences between male and female goldens that you'll definitely want to consider before bringing one home. And remember this, each dog is an individual. Yes, this video will show you the differences between these two genders that appear often, but these are not rules that are set in stone. You might get a dog that is completely opposite of the differences described here. So at the end of the video, you'll learn a little secret to find out the best way to get the right dog for you. But first, we'll talk about a difference that is the most black and white. Male versus female golden retriever size. Male golden retrievers are usually 22 to 24 inches tall at the withers which is a fancy way of saying shoulders, and they weigh about 65 to 75 pounds. Female golden retrievers are usually 20 to 22 inches tall at the withers and weigh 55 to 65 pounds. As you can see, male goldens are usually bigger than females. That doesn't mean females can't be bigger than males, but they're much more likely to be smaller. As far as where each dog falls in this range, that will depend heavily on the parents, well, at least for height. Weight will not only depend on the dog and their parents, but also how much you feed and exercise them. Since golden retrievers are prone to obesity as well as heart and joint issues, you'll want to keep them at a healthy weight so that they can live long, happy, and healthy lives. The next difference isn't as black and white, but it is one that you actually see in humans too. Male versus female golden retriever maturity. Female golden retrievers, like human females, mature faster than males. One of the biggest differences here is that it can make it easier to potty train young females over males when they're young. And since they mature slower, male goldens will act like puppies for longer than female goldens. This can be fun since they're playful and goofy during this stage, but tough because they have so much energy and can be mischievous. Typically, puppyhood lasts until they're about two to four years old, with females being on the shorter end of that spectrum and males being on the longer end. My golden Oliver just turned three years old and he still acts like a wild, goofy puppy, which leads us to the next point. Male versus female golden retriever personalities. Unlike size, which is a well-established difference, this is probably the most subjective trait on this list. Here's what many people have found regarding their golden retrievers' personalities. Male golden retrievers are goofier and more playful than female golden retrievers. Females, on the other hand, are more independent, dominant over other dogs, stubborn, and protective. Females are also more caring and in tune with your emotions than males. This is another difference that you often see in humans too. But it's not just gender that can affect your dog's personality. Genetics and their past experiences can affect their personality too. We fostered a nine-year-old female golden for a month. She was certainly more dominant and protective than her boy, but she was not independent at all. She was an absolute Velcro dog that needed our attention 24-7. Unfortunately, I think that's because she was neglected in the home that she was in before she came to us. When she finally got some love and attention, she couldn't get enough of it and was by our sides or on our laps the whole time we had her. This next difference is one that most of you clean freaks will need to know. Male versus female golden retriever marking. Male golden retrievers mark more than female golden retrievers. If you're going for a walk, expect to stop, sniff, and pee many more times with a male than with a female. However, once your male golden gets neutered, this will slow down a lot, and we'll talk more on this later. But male goldens will start squatting more instead of lifting their leg and will pee much fewer times after they get neutered. Many people don't want to get a male golden because they're scared they'll mark everything in the house. But if you potty train them correctly, that shouldn't be an issue. And here's another reason why that shouldn't stop you from getting a male golden. Female goldens mark too. Although they don't normally mark as much as males, they definitely can mark. So don't let this be too much of a factor in your decision. Now this next difference is something that goes back to when goldens were first being bred. Male versus Golden Retriever Barking The great news is that Golden Retrievers are moderate barkers. They were originally bred to hunt birds back in the 1800s, so if they barked, they would scare the birds off. Because of this, they don't bark that much. However, there are a few things you should know when it comes to Goldens and barking. Males have louder, deeper barks than females. In fact, Charlie, a male Golden Retriever from Australia, owns the world record for loudest bark. But although males bark louder, females often bark more. This next difference is another one that's commonly misunderstood. Male versus female golden retriever humping. Yes, we all know that males hump, but did you know that female goldens hump too? Both males and females hump because of sexual urges, displaying dominance, playing, and other reasons. Neutering or spaying will help decrease it, but expect to deal with humping no matter which gender you get. 
Of course, male humping could have much more serious consequences if he's not neutered, which takes us to the next difference. Male versus female golden retriever spaying and neutering. Every golden retriever puppy owner will ask themselves this question, should I spay or neuter my dog? You'll need to talk to your vet to answer this, but most golden retriever owners in America do spay or neuter their dogs. We'll make a more detailed video about this later, but consider this. If you don't neuter your male golden, he's more likely to roam, mark, and be aggressive to other male dogs. Plus, he'll have the ability to father an unwanted litter. If you don't spay your female golden, she'll have heats every six months, and you'll need to keep her away from males for three weeks during this time to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Most people spay their girls after their first heat, while most people neuter their boys when they're fully grown at about one or two years old. Again, talk to your vet to decide when the time is right for your pup. Now here's a highly debated difference you probably had with your friends in elementary school. Male versus female golden retriever intelligence. According to Dr. Stanley Koren's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, golden retrievers are the fourth smartest dog breeds. The top three are border collies, poodles, and German shepherds. Many golden retriever owners who've had both males and females often report that females are smarter. This could be because they mature faster or are less mischievous, or maybe that they're actually smarter. But just like all traits in this list, it really depends on the individual dog. Next up, male versus female golden retriever protection. Although males are bigger than females and have a louder bark, females are usually more protective of their homes and their families. They're normally more wary of strangers than males and are more likely to bark at someone or something they don't know. I read a great story the other day about Sadie, a female golden retriever who protected her family when an intruder broke into her house. We all know goldens as sweet, goofy dogs, but they can't protect their homes when needed. This is because of this next difference. Male versus female golden retriever bonding and affection. Here's a quote people often say about golden retrievers. Girls will love you, but boys will fall in love with you. Many golden owners report that males are cuddlier and more affectionate than females. Another theory that I have in this realm, and this is just a theory, is that boys are mama's boys and girls are daddy's girls. My golden is certainly a mama's boy, and I've heard many people say their boys love their moms more and girls love their dads more. Had I known this before, maybe I would have tried to get a girl instead. What do you think? Is your golden a mama's boy or a daddy's girl? Let me know down in the comments. After all these differences, you might have a good idea of which gender you are. But remember this, these are trends, not rules. A golden's personality and characteristics are all about the specific dog and their parents. So how do you get the best dog for you? The number one thing you can do is talk to the breeder. They know the puppies and the puppy's parents best, and they can tell you what to expect. First, you need to decide what traits you want in a dog. Then talk to some breeders and see if they breed dogs that fit what you're looking for. For example, if you want a dog to do agility, dock diving, or even hunting with you, then you probably want an athletic, energetic field golden retriever, not a stocky, fluffy show golden retriever. On the other hand, if you want a calm companion or even a therapy dog, then you probably don't want that energetic field goal. And if you're confused on the difference between a field golden retriever and a show golden retriever, I'll drop a link down in the description to a blog post to help you out. After you find a breeder that breeds a type of dog you want, then they can help you decide on a boy or a girl based on what you're looking for and what their puppies are like. Another note on male versus female golden retrievers, sometimes you might not have a choice. Goldens are so popular right now, and the wait lists are so long that you might just have to accept what you can get. Or you might go to the breeder, play with the puppies, and immediately bond with one of them. Sometimes the puppy chooses you. If you're in either of these situations, don't worry. Both boy and girl golden retrievers are amazing, and you'll have a wonderful time with them. But before you bring your golden retriever home, you've got to watch this video next about the 10 things I wish I knew before getting a golden. And if you're not sure if a golden is right for you, then take the golden retriever quiz down in the description. Thanks for watching, and remember, never take your golden retriever for granted, and always check your poop bags for holes.